Good to be with you guys. I'm Aaron Perlman. As, as you look at here across the West, you can see all of these advisories. This is reminiscent to what we tend to see in the months of October into March, the Santa Ana winds. Now, we are more affected here in Kern County by Santa Arvin winds where they come out of the southeast, but this is getting very warm in SoCal. So just to give an idea, high pressure is overhead. It gives you sunny skies. That's what we tend to see. But then you see this ridge. It's over the, the Rockies in between there and the Sierras. That's called the ridge over the Great Basin. That's where this typically sits. We're going to start seeing that this week. Gives you a strong offshore wind, which in return will create hot weather. That's the Santa Ana heat. Combined with the heat, it's driven by the wind, the Santa Ana winds coming out of the northeast as it's dry and hot. What really sparks it, though, is the surface low off the California coastline. We don't have that right now, but we tend to see that in the months of October into March. That's the perfect scenario. It drives up the extreme heat, wildfire growth, and drought. Now, wildfire growth already there, but be aware. You can see the heat already sticking around areas from Vegas in the spots of Phoenix. San Diego, Los Angeles, and of course here in Kern County where we have the heat advisory. It starts tomorrow into Friday.